Mr. Ivkovic? Yeah, I, you know, there is uh, what Marcus said. I would, I would not know that it's a prince. And it, it made me smile that after one and a half seconds, it was all oh, prince. Yeah. I like what happened on top. It sounded like a good draft. And then, you know, maybe, maybe this idea can be developed in a more substantial way. I will, keep the, same, be... I will keep the same mood, probably. I think yeah. the mood is nice to, to have this contrast between like the extreme functionality of Prince beat, you know? And maybe, honestly, I wouldn't even use the bass because there's a tiny bass on the kick drum from, on that song that would probably do the job already and I would just go abstract as it did but not in that way, maybe with different kind of uh, melody or sound or something. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the only, this is the only way maybe I would accept using that kind of sample with something completely different on top. I just didn't like the solution, uh, what the name of the guy is, you know, the, the guy found, you know, like, I mean, like, you know, like the what solution. Is your, um, what is your favorite Prince production, which is not named Prince? Or uh, the artist formerly known as Prince, or any Prince's aliases. Uh, well, I mean, like all the the family album was something that really changed my life. Family, you know, with the with the sister of um, Wendy from Wendy Lisa, Susanna, mm -hmm. and of course, like Vanity Six and all the you know Apollonia Vanity. There's actually there's actually a song that I never found. I don't I don't even think it's available. It's a uh, Oh Shishi Wawa. I think it's one of the favorite favorite prince thing ever you know it's a really fast erotic uh, crazy you know song from prince you know that was mm -hmm. signed as uh, vanity six i think or even apollonia or honestly i mean it really depends on the mood i mean prince it changes every day you know like even manic monday the original version from apollonia i think is incredible that never came out gladly there's a tape yeah uh, yeah but that is really something else to me you're going deep. I'm going deep. <laughs> Touching me on my uh, sweet point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did you say? No. Not even a six minutes of quiet? It's an edit. It's not quiet. Ah. I just oh. took the best best parts from the original. And <laughs> <laughs> so can we talk over it? No, you have to, be, no, do we need to, you have to shut up and we have to listen. Okay, so so now a six minute of quiet. You can you can skip. It's basically this. I can skip. I can skip yeah. forward. Of course, it's this tension. I, I prefer this part of the silence. This is also my favorite. Yeah, guys, because you didn't get to the end yet. That's where yes. the best comes. And it's probably one of those few tracks that are not edited yet. So this is like extended best part of uh, Chikoni Youth Silence. <laughs> it doesn't make much difference, or? Shall we move our head? He's well, gone. Ah, okay. You destroyed Moscow, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was too much. It was too much to handle. <laughs> But it, it, I really played it two times. Jeez, for real? Where? Yeah, yeah of course. Where? Uh, once in the salon and once it was some listening um, evening. At what, at what time of the night did you play that? Yeah, it's a peak time. Next <laughs> ended up. <laughs> uh, salon de Zamater, man. Do you remember yeah, that no, night? <laughs> yeah, I remember many nights with you. I remember actually quite clearly the first night when I met you in Bologna. Uh huh. Yeah, where it all started, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, re but I really have good memories of the, of the salon de Zamater. You know, like that night, it was insane. I'm just going to get something to drink. Yeah, this <laughs> hotel, hotel Shanghai in Essen. Ah, when, they forgot okay. to, when they forgot to to switch off the the smoke uh, machine. Oh, but, Jesus. and when someone came up like 30 minutes later, <laughs> could you please? <laughs> Is that the night that we saw that we saw UFOs in the sky? Yes. Oh jeez. Wow. What did I miss? Oh, just, just some private feelings. No, with the UFO. Oh mean? yeah, it was it was when uh, when Marco and I played uh, in Essen, the Hotel Shanghai. Then between my place and Essen, there were suddenly proper UFOs on the left side of the highway. 
like for the very first time i saw something that i mean it's yeah, like, you, you, even call, you remember that we called the police what we did we called the airport or something and then there was marcus i think who tried to figure out what it, it was wasn't a drone or something no no there were a few beautiful clear lights lights everywhere moving at different speed and just going up and down it was insane i mean we literally stopped stopped the car on the highway because we couldn't believe it mm. you know and what initially month, only me what month was it what sorry what month was it? Yes. Yeah, I should Google when what was that night? Or Marcus has all the flyers. I really, I really can't remember. It was it was not really cold, maybe spring. Yeah. But and then we were also on our way to the club, so it was not like optical yes, sensation. Said, uh, his wife saw it. No, it wasn't two thousand. Marco, when was it? It was two thousand and four yeah it was around yeah early early 2000 but i can remember yeah okay we just kept talking about it for the entire night remember we were just mono yes <laughs> i found it weird that people will like ufos will come to essen from all places it was it, it was not even essen it was some somewhere around the duisburg area i think you know highway <laughs> yeah, that doesn't, it was not even doesn't make a, <laughs> i was about to say that does that make a difference no, it, doesn't <laughs> no make it, it doesn't make a difference but it's it's one of those you know bleak areas worth checking if you're coming from outer space so okay, okay. I mean, so, I like it, you, guys, I like your photos, talk. but uh, it really, it really happened, and they really are. I don't, I don't not believe you. Let's say it like that. I we never really spoke about it with anyone else. Marcus was with us in a car. If he watches, hello, Marcus, and he could confirm this any time. Sorry, and I really have this precise <coughs> vivid memory of it. So they are there. But that was the somebody else. That was the first time, or there were more times. No, no, no. It was it was first time with Mark and I together. I saw something, ah, something okay. similar when I was a kid. So basically, I saw also in this area. No, 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 no. In the Croatian Adriatic coast when I was six. That makes sense. Yeah, so. You know what? It's good visibility. A lot of uh, open nature. Hmm. Just really, I, I tell you this once. It was insane. Uh, insanely fast moving stopping three lights like rotating stopping moving left moving right like really high and then they disappeared really fast and then i was in this area when i when i played the festival uh dimensions is around the area and somehow i was hoping you know 30 years later to see them again but they were not there i just so asked I had, myself I had, why won't they come already well, if you if maybe you they're already them, here, we don't see them, or exact also, yeah. Maybe, but it's maybe, they... us. maybe it's the future of us. That's what I think. It could be. Uh... It's our future. It's no, nothing is future. It's you know either they are no, here I, or not. Like we are living in a predetermined world. That's what I believe, and we are unfolding more and more layers. And you had a glitch in the layer. This, uh, you've no. seen the future somehow some kind of visual way with the power of the sun you yeah, but had not, a not glimpse those inside moments. the future it's not here it's in a different time i had other moments where i said you know they those lights <clears throat> were obviously here in our on our plane i mean this one there are others but they're not connected to those alien uh, ufo <laughs> Uh, encounters. So let's, several, let's, let's, let's several people in the same time. I don't believe it's a personal thing to to see them. It's just a a hole in the in the in the picture. I don't know how to explain it. Just in English, it's just a, a little tear in time that you've seen. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you. I'm just saying that it's us. It's a very progressed humanity. You know, I know they were. That's they were, what I believe, at least. They were as, as real as, you know. No, no, they, it's real. Cup, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's real. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm just saying it's not extraterrestrial. It's us in the future. Could be. Could be. Or in the past, because this nobody knows the future or the past. 
But I do know that uh, this track won't you play. Know, so you, you basically know the future because you had this next track sorted. No, I don't know the future. So I'm not master of future. No, I don't, I'm not. Uh, I don't know if that's interstellar plot, but I'm guessing. No, because they don't know either if interstellar was in the past or in the future. What was interstellar? It was yeah. a very interstellar, good sound. interstellar is about that actually. It's like this layer of time through dimensions, yeah. you know. So yeah. there are like every now and then like some signs that go through the layers of yeah, the, exactly. Uh, you know, like so yeah, you, you, it was not that. that you're sending something in the back, you know, and you see that, you know, from a glitch of a watch or something like that. You know, that was the interstellar plot. Okay. Sadly, we will we won't see it in our lifetime. Probably. No, but we can definitely listen to the music of some guy at yes. the moment. You know, someone that's uh, who's playing this DJ K K1. No joke, DJ K1. I really like the uh, I really like the naivety of this track. I don't know how to explain. It's simple. It's it's very immature, but I don't see it as a bad thing. Also, you know, it's 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 a nice thing. I would say for me at least. Um, I mean, I like the melody. I will get rid of the beats and the bass, and I will make an IDM track out of it. Yeah, that's interesting. I also thought I would love to hear it with less powerful drums. Yeah. yeah. I would Just really because... use like a, a glitchy, like yes. simple, you know, like rhythmical element and build the melody. Maybe not a big fan of that kind of solo at the end. And uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, like the melodic part, I think it's really sweet. I like the sweetness. It really reminds me of the kind of IDM, like, uh, early 2000 vibe, you know, it's kind of, I think it's nice. It could go somewhere else if it, get rid, if it gets rid of the beats and the bass and put something else in it. I think I like it. Mm. 
I just think that if we're digging and we're finding stuff from the past, if we dig more, can't we find stuff from the future? Yeah, of course. I mean, doesn't yeah, Area 51 can be a, a, a result of a big crater? You don't that... have to, to go so so far. I mean, I always think when I think about fu future, there there is plenty of music, but there was a track that Marco did many years, decades ago. Um, back the, in the UFOs, the Fibonacci, but yeah, that is good also. Fibonacci curve yeah. that still sounds like future that is yet to come. There's plenty of For music example. that sounds like future, you know, that was done like ages ago and it still sounds like something that has never happened, you know, like, but I we mean, can, this... but we can categorize them as futuristic. Yeah. Maybe people would say what people would say in order to understand this is like retro futuristic. Probably yeah. that's how people love to say when it's this kind of concept. But why, I mean, is, why is UFOs and this kind of stuff has to be spaceships? or futuristic music has to be futuristic sounds synthesizer no, and this. i don't that's think what i asked no no i don't think it has to be i mean i think it's related to what you see or what you hear i mean like actually a ufo could actually be a spaceship of course it could be that it could also be a stone. Why can it be a spirit that's here with me in the in the room that nobody can see but me yeah, of course, of course, of course, but of course, like there's nobody here today, but in general, yeah, but there's a tendency, so? yeah, there's a tendency for human being to uh, to feel you touching me, it's weird to visualize what you can relate to, you know. So, of course, if there's a different form in chemical or whatever, you cannot see, so you can't relate, and then of course, you don't think about it. But I mean, I totally, I'm totally, totally agree with you when you say that future doesn't necessarily mean like spaceships or uh you know like a technological sound you know it could yeah. be a very primordial uh, sound out of stones you know that you yeah. know that you reached like a certain level of development where technology is not needed anymore and maybe you can literally get away with you know with just frequency out of nature maybe this and then if, if, this, this, if this previous uh producer is listening or reading okay one this would be really nice Yes, yeah. to hear it. Well, when is your next uh, gathering? In two, three days, yeah, <clears throat> to hear yeah, it yeah. with really fragile rhythmic. Yeah. Or uh, Monday also. That's good. It doesn't have to be for Friday. Whenever they can. Yeah. We we'll still be. be nice.
You're not in yet? No, no, I'm here. Oh, no, okay. Right. okay. No, I'm here. Okay, uh, I really, really like the first half of the song. I mean, like uh, the, before this kind of strings comes in, you know, I would just keep it simple. It's one of the cases where I would definitely buy the song and I will use hot cue and loop it back and forth in the first half of the song. I really like yeah. it. I really like the bass. I really like the groove. Yeah. Uh, it, it makes me feel comfortable within my taste, you know, some early things I was playing. You know, it, it gives me a good vibe and I would definitely play this one. I wouldn't probably go to the second half, but I would definitely play back and forth in between the middle and the beginning. As I'm, uh, I sold my soul to the CDJ, Vladimir is happy. Yeah, I was witnessing your whole progression from those Denon controls. <laughs> <white label. laughs> you know, Marco was always early, early adapter, but that's, uh, that's a topic for another gathering. That's another gathering. That's yeah, I agree with Marco. It's a, it's a nice uh, nice tool. It also reminds me of like mid nineties, like hundreds of record. Uh, sounds bad. No, hundreds of great. club club tools, but with a kind of updated modern sound design. For it, it's it's a nice tool. Good good club music. Next up. No, no, wait. What do you say about it? I feel the same thing. Good. <laughs> it's very nice. Uh, also, the end, I would cut it. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm really also curious, I mean, how you see yeah. things, not only Marco, so sorry but for nice. me. I don't like when they're using too much of uh, uh, voices from movies and stuff like that. But it didn't bother me also at the same time. But also, it's the magic of DJing. You can pick your parts. Yeah. It's nice. But I, I don't want to edit, I mean, yeah, whatever. It was good. <laughs> okay. It was very good. Next. Everybody came to annoy Marco today with their TV sounds. <laughs> I feel it. You brought it, this energy. This show is about energy. You directed it to TV, since then only TV. I feel like it's recorded live, you know, yeah. this, uh, this thing. No, it feels like live. It feels analog, sound-wise. We're very untouched. not on everything we need to say stuff but i would say thanks for sending and keep working i it's not music yet you know it's just playing with with machines which is a good start for it and yeah like he says it's a live take and it sounds like a live take but it misses a lot of the things that creates a track called like that yeah basically uh, let's see what this one is. Super Luna.
I was waiting for um, a song to start for some reason. Yeah, uh, on my side, I would say that this is the kind of track that uh, probably I'm not sure about this track, but makes me want to listen to more stuff from the guy. Yeah. So it would be lovely if you could pass me the uh, the SoundCloud link because I'm curious to see if there's any other stuff there. No. Ficaro. No, nothing. Ah, okay, okay. So please send more. Yeah. Mm. Let's see if you have yourself. If, um... There's definitely something in there. There's something missing big time, of course, you know, because it's a proper song, probably. So it misses the song, but I kind of like it, you know. Mm -hmm. And I would love to listen more. I'm with you. Yeah. It feels like some some of the stuff that I used to do when I was starting, we're using a lot of sealant and this kind of stuff. Sealant? What's the name? It's sealant. Sealant. Yeah. 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 yeah and uh, that's how it feels. But. Uh, but uh, I think the potential is there. It's just about working more and more. It's and it's I again mean, about it's about I a mean, choice. He has to so choose where to go if he wants to be a song or because actually there's a potential for a proper song. You know, like it's a. Uh, I would I would probably be happy to hear a song like a proper song, maybe even vocals and stuff out of this. You know, yeah. I think it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's just I'm just saying it's uh, making a demo and coming to the show. That's not enough. <laughs> you need to work a lot on music in the studio. You know, like hours and hours and hours. Send us more music. Not something to add. About. If, it's, if it's a draft, it's a it's a good draft. I saw when you switch the screen that there is nothing on this SoundCloud account. And uh, please upload, share with Marco and uh, Moscowman. Yes. I think this is our last tune, sadly. But do you have anything to share with us? Something new that you've been working on? Yeah, I can share you either something that is coming out or something that didn't come out. Thank you. I gotta say that without that uh, knowing, it's a very nice track. Of course, very raw, very beginning stages. I know that it wants to be acid, but it's not acid. I think it's another, it's the second case in a row where I'm curious to listen to more stuff because I really, I really like when producers use like kind of unusual drum kits, you know, and this is more like unusual in considering what clubs, you know, leads you to, you know, usually, usually using always the same stuff, 808, 909, 707 or whatever. And uh, it's the kind of track that probably I don't dig much, but I would really love to listen to more stuff from this guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're uh, they're free to send more stuff, and we're here, and I'm here every few days. Wait, there's I want to let's see what Woody did from the. Then we listen to it already. Already. This is very good. I feel like we heard it. Before. Woody, I feel like the potential in the track is huge. I think you need somebody professional to take it over the edge. You know, the track would be very big. It just misses the work. You know what I mean? It just misses the, the technicality of it. The sound, mixing, more editing, the direction. I like this direction. I like this kind of winning tunes sometimes. <laughs> What did you say winning tunes? It's a kind of win, you know, when you hear no, it. No, it's, win. it's not, I didn't lose anything when I heard it. No, time. no, 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 I understand. Hmm? Mix, yeah, mix. If, you know, everybody's downsizing the work to just mix, but mix is taking care of every channel separately yeah. and then mixing it all together and sound amazing together. So I would say mix, but that's but, like more, more but than just volumes. That's for sure. It's a it's a good. Okay, now kind of travel back in time to this uh, moody, atmospheric techno yeah. minimalish track. Yeah. Imagine a day or night or the whole weekend with winning tracks. Yeah. So you know this that we heard before. It's a beautiful part yeah. of the night of the day for me. So you won, you didn't lose. No, no, it, it was just this idea. It's not about, you know, yeah. no, making a club club owner happy. It's just yeah. essential part. I mean, then you probably appreciate like, something like this yeah, even more. Yeah, this moment in the, in the dance floor, you know, this kind of moment that this is the kind of track that this kind of moment connects everybody together, you know? Then whatever you did so far could be forgotten. You know, this kind of one thing that you said that people will be like, okay. Thank you, you know, and we're together and like, nah, 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 nah. Cool. there's a lot of music like this and not all of them, not all of it is good, but this needs a lot of work technically to get there, to get over the hill. It's a big hill to get it, to have this kind of amazing sound that even people like Vlad will play it at the right moment. Mm. No? Oh, oh, let's see. Time will tell. Yeah. At the right yeah. moment. It's Irina, the show's favorite. I think we heard it already, no? No. No, not... Not today. Not today. Time will tell who are you, crowd boys. Don't worry, we'll find you. But thanks for coming for every show and making this show very pleasurable. Bentland Park, Chris, see you later. See you in Warzone.
אמרתי לו שהוא כל היום חולם, הוא לא יודע מה הוא רוצה. what happened when you send me a private link instead of sending in the chat so I play older stuff think about what you want to say about this track but in the meantime I want to hear the other one because I only already heard this one go ahead with this one you like this one I mean I liked it you know I would love to hear a much louder snare uh, yeah. I think it's really I like the track, you know, but uh, not a big fan of the vocal samples. But I think if you, I mean, personally, I will skip the vocal parts with the cues and uh, a louder snare. It would really do the job, you know. I kind of yeah, like it the misses the Adonis in it. Yeah, and also so a bit. Of, them, that's what I told them last time I heard it. <laughs> and uh, also, also a bit on on the rhythmical side, I will go more like psych early car craig you know the way it was mixing the 808 in the or the 606 or whatever you know like yeah. it's a, like the snare has to be more upfront you know like still 808 or 606 you know but like more upfront and it cuts a little bit of the hi-hats i think it's nice i love the mood you know it's really nice yeah let's hear for a second what he what he really brought to the show <laughs> and not Thank you, Rina, also for not letting me know after four minutes in the track. Another TB? What's wrong day? Only TB. It's the day of the three of threes. Whatever his name. Rewind. 
Nice ending. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Very nice. Yep. <clears throat> Plus it's nice. It's one of those those tracks. I'm really happy that uh that the kick didn't arrive. Yeah. Yeah, when I, when I started waiting they, for him, I thought it was happening. Actually, yes, really when I saw this, happen. I thought, yeah. no, please don't. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. happen. It, it made it even better. <laughs> it fooled us. But maybe again, like with the previous track, vocal samples are the necessary or not. It's a it's a beautiful atmosphere. I really like it. I couldn't I could live without a message. Yeah. Yeah, especially a message that created that a big company created because they were lazy to rewind their own tapes. <laughs> and they made you know, they made people believe that it's cool to to do it. Um, in any case, no Michael today, sadly. I have to say. But uh, it just means that we need to do something is laggy today. Let me check. It just means that we need to do another show together. Hopefully next month. And I had a great time, and uh, I hope everybody had a good time. And thank you guys. Thank uh, Marco for joining us for the first time. Yeah, Hopefully right. not the last. Ah, wait. I, I just have to there. clarify. There is there is a, a message. Be kind of why rewind a big message yeah yeah i know it's not about the content of the message but the message like the the vo vocal in the, the track fact that there is a message yeah yeah I, the message is good i don't know what's rewind what does he want to rewind i don't understand maybe it's us. related to me that i i said that i i could also live without the message not the message yeah, 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 else, yeah but yeah. in the within this track Marco, you want to play the track or you want to keep it for next time? I'd love to. Oh, up, no. up to you, up to you guys. I mean, oh, whatever you want, of course. I, I know my music, so <laughs> I, I don't need to listen to another. Time. Everybody wants to. Everybody wants to. Hear. Yeah, let's let's do this. I'd love to. But everybody, don't go anywhere after because I'm gonna load the, my uh, my game and I'm gonna play with the, with my friends and Pentland Park are gonna join me and a lot of other people. Not that you care, but whatever. And if someone, I enjoy. Can, can send me the link to watch football tonight. I'd be great. What do you want to watch? You know that you can uh, watch. Borussia Dortmund. I don't have a clue where to do this. You know, sometimes I th I see on Twitch also the the games. Weirdly enough, but I can uh, I can send you a link. Uh, Please give, give me a few Thank minutes. You. Because the page oh, that I, I used many moons ago, it somehow doesn't exist anymore. Okay, let's go to Marco. I'd love to. I'd love to hear it. And what's the name of this app? Zane or something? Zane, Zane. Zane. Don't don't do this on record. Then the, the I don't. I'm saying it in the wrong way. No, not if it's a it's a it's a legitimate uh, app that you can just do subscribe for a month and then just watch. I don't want to subscribe. Dazon. Dazon. <laughs> what's the name of it? D A Z N. Dazon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm writing it down. No, because it's like I don't know. I have a lot of subscription for this shit. It's nothing. How much is it? Yeah, it's but 10, you, you, ten you, euros a month in Italy. Ten euros. Here in Germany, I'm, also, I'm not. I think, I think you can get like a free cancel anytime. 
Ah, uh, yeah, you can get one month for free. You can yeah, watch it there. You can cancel it. Start your free month and then you cancel it. But it, it's not a, the value of 10 euros that interests No, no, no. It's, it's, free, it's free for 30 days, so you can do it. But uh, do they show the Champions League in Germany on the zone? I mean, in Italy, it's uh, somewhere else. So I don't Marco, know. No, no clue. I just saw that Borussia Dortmund is playing tonight. So I was like, oh, you know, I could do some chips and <laughs> football. You know, this bleed you want to you without. Want to without Dortmund. supporters yeah it's playing sevilla against dortmund yeah it's tonight yeah okay but let's go to uh okay let's hear the track Pasarani original or is it uh yeah no that's uh that's one that is coming out next month so it's the b2 of the okay. of the ep go ahead i thought it's an ambient track no, that was the first one. I sent you two links. One is ambient, one is... No, let's, no. let's finish in the high note. What do you think about that? Up to you, man. Too much ambient this week. SoundCloud is dead. <clears throat> it's dead again? No. Yeah. Today That's fine. Dead. I'm fed up with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Go today. home, Pasarani. Go home. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, it's just, uh, I don't know. My computer is making problems today. I'm sorry, guys. Should I don't worry. Way. That was enough. I don't know what's wrong. I had but, fun. I had a lot and of fun. someone someone asked uh, Marco, now your turn to explain which instruments ah, tools you yeah. use. This and one is nice. a bit yeah, there's a, I'll try to make it quick. It's a combination of stuff that started with uh, with a new app on uh, on iPad called Drambo. I started fucking around with that and I made that kind of a fan base that goes on on and on. Then there's a bit of, I exported some of the stuff and it's in Ableton Live where the SH-101 comes in, but it's fucked up by a little pedal and uh, there's some extra layer of drums coming from, uh, from some, probably the MC-707, so it's some sort of samples through the Roland machine. And uh, the string, the kind of string, da, 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 I guess it's an FM, if I remember correctly, FM sounds from, uh, from this uh, software called Dext, D-E-X-E-D, -E or something like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, but it started from the iPad, crazy enough, you know, like I, I ignored yeah. the iPad for ages and uh, 
like a year ago or something i got one by mistake almost and i realized that there's a lot of tools there to make music or to write sketches and then from there you move to other to other platforms so i always try to bring like different systems together analog sequencing digital with computer and now ipad as well because it does like some crazy funky shit. <laughs> thank <good>. you <laughs> you're welcome yeah, it just shows that there is a lot of ways to do music. You yeah, know. totally, totally. Yes, and whatever inspires you, even if it's a stupid app or whatever, you know, whatever inspires you to make it, you just go for it. It's good that you also, but it's, it doesn't mean that you don't need to do the basis, the basics, you know, that's what I'm trying to say that even if you're, even if you're doing the, you know, whatever using loops and this kind of stuff or using some kind of synth, soft sense it's good that you know the basics of, of production then you can evolve from that it doesn't mean that you got to keep doing the same things you can evolve from it but it's good no, to know absolutely and there are there are usually there are like two different theories you know when i speak to some friends that make music and stuff you know there's some people that say that you will you have to stick to one system so that you get to know it like from from top to bottom which is true, it's important to know what you're using, you know, but it's also true every now and then to give a twist to your setup. Even with simple stuff, you don't need to spend a fortune or something. I mean, if you have an iPad, there are like plenty of apps and now it's so easy to connect it with the other system. The iPad is mm -hmm. not talking on its own anymore. So yeah. you can easily connect sound card or MIDI controllers or whatever. And yeah. I hooked up everything in the same network, you know, and I was using actually Ableton Link when I was Ableton Link when I was recording. So the stuff was actually running on sync, even without MIDI on Wi-Fi. So it's kind of like it's so there's so many opportunities, you know, you just need to find a way and, and, and you need to be curious to test different system, you know, and then, you know, with a bit of knowledge and with experience, you know, you learn how to bring things together. But it's really cool to have like different things running at the same time. You know, one might be really cheap, like an iPad or even an iPhone. And then you can yeah. connect it to the big ones, you know, like you can still make things. I mean, like the base, it's coming out of the, an app on the iPad. And some, yeah. some guy wrote me the other day, he said like, wow, I mean, is this the, the X7, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, it's a app, you know? So it's, uh, I just made it, you know, with that, you know, but it's, I mean, I know where, where I wanted to take the sound, so probably it's easier. But yeah. because I've, I have a little experience, you know. But it's it's doable, you know. Like it's you just need to work, you know, work and find a way, you know. And I think uh, all you're missing is a good uh, soft boxes and uh, some couple of cameras and a good uh, internet connection, and you can do your own Twitch channel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and do this, and people would love to watch you make music. Why not? Yeah, when we have the new studio, the, st the new studio will be streaming friendly. This is one of the reason. I mean, the secret. One of the reason why we want to move is that we want we want to have an extra room where we can do some content, some what video content. What was the app name? Rambo. Uh, Rambo. Dr Rambo. D R A M B O. It's a. Uh, I think it's quite a game changer on the iPad because it's really good. It's like having an Octa Track or Analog Four into an. I'm uh, sold. An app. Are you Do a it. sponsor? It's, I'm sold. I, I think it's 19 it. euros. Buy. Really well spent. 90, 90 19, 19. 19. Ah, 19 is okay. Really well spent. I'm done. I'm there. Grande. I just want to, I don't want to make music. Drembo. So I think, can you, can you write it on the chat so that the guy, so the guy's Drembo, Drembo because some is asking for yeah, the name. Yeah, I don't know if I can write it, nor write, if I'm writing it, then write. Because I can't, I can't use the chat, right? I cannot find a way to have the, the Twitch channel. Okay. Drembo with B. D R U M B L uh, D R A M B O. Uh, like, yeah, Drambo. Like, like Rambo. Like Rambo with Rambo. a dick. Yeah. Like Rambo with a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Super let's Rambo. Finish, let's, let's finish with that. And I want to thank you guys. Super Rambo. Thanks a lot for having us. Thank you so much. And uh, I love you. And uh, I hope uh, we'll get to see each other soon. And if not, we can do this soon. And uh, hopefully there will be better music. <laughs> no, I'm a little come disappointed. Oh, this it was good. Come on. <laughs> some was good and some was not. I'm, you know, what? expectations is your biggest evil. Is the biggest uh, it's the evil? You know, expectation is your biggest. How do you say it? It's the, your Obstacle. worst enemy. It's the worst enemy. Expectations.
<laughs> but even that you know a lot of people let the expectations kill their vibe i will not kill it let it kill my vibe i'm continuing and i'll be here friday with each other which is justin strauss and max pask from new york oh, so nice. get ready for that and uh yeah peace thank, thank you, you so much and uh, stick around i'm gonna change the switch to i'm gonna change the switch i'm gonna switch to my, my playstation change the switch to twitch and i'm gonna twitch my switch with my teach with d <laughs> with d d rambo rambo with a d rambo with a d rambo with a d ciao Bye, thank you, thank you. Yeah, good luck today for uh, borussia i'm i'm waiting for you i like dortmund it's the only it's the only sustainable group football group in the world i, I don't know it's also this um romantic idea that i mean it's a stock market uh yeah club. Now. so there are no illusions about it but there are chips so it's a good like <laughs> company also too. they're very left-wing which is great maybe send me the link please i will thank you wait when the zen or the whatever zen? works okay <laughs> okay i'll send you, I'll send thank you. you now thank you, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.